above the rim play, always captivating speed. We should see a lot of that tonight. And Kevin, I'm so excited. You know, I play under the rim, so to get a chance to watch guys play well above, I am getting my popcorn ready. So here is Miami's starting group. Jimmy Butler is out there with Trevor Ariza, then it's Robinson, then it's Kendrick Nunn, then it's Autobio in at the five down low. Now, here's Autobio, following the miss by Kemba Walker. And right there, I like how Adebayo takes his time, scans the floor, makes the unselfish play. Brown gets to Walker. The Celtics working the ball around now. Five on the clock. Shot from the top of the key. Jimmy Butler with the rebound. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. None passes to Butler. Score of the basket is second of two attempts. Wow, the strength of Jimmy Butler fends off defenders well when he goes up to score. Walker finds Brown. Crystal blows, bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. They're setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag, and, and where's the health defensively? No excuse, you have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Well, Celtics shooting their first free throw of the game. And they had a lot of success a season ago as a team, hitting about 80% of their free throws. No good on the free throw. And Jason Tatum, he got a lot of the pub last year, and deservedly so. But Jalen Brown made monstrous strides as well, especially when it came to efficiency. Now, here's none. He's off on that one. Good D by Thompson. For Boston, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Brown the pass to Tatum. Good D by Ariza. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. Adebayo against Thompson. The shot by Adebayo, no good. And you look at Brown's field goal percentage and his free throw percentage break both career highs last season. Hey Kevin, his shot was never broken. The, the motion never had to be rebuilt. Brown's problem coming into the league was that he would shoot the ball differently every time. Once he landed on a repeatable mechanics, you could see the consistency start to take form. Now here's Butler following the shot by Tristan Thompson. None against Walker. None, that's good. Great job of screening there. Nice job of taking to the rim and get the finish. They've been looking at a sink offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Now, here's Brown. He kicks it to Thompson. Here's Smart. And the three off target. Well, he leading by five. Here's Butler. Banked in off the glass. Butler's got seven points. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Brown outside. Back to Walker. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. And improving size does not matter. Walker comfortable slamming it up inside. Back to nine. Good and the assist goes to Robinson. Man, he has come out focused and efficient. Love what he's doing at the offensive end. Pass to Tatum. This is to Thompson. And the layup is good. The powerful body of Thompson. Easily able to absorb contact and finish. The Heat with the lead. Nunn kicks the butt. And they double up up. Out to the right wing. Here's a reason. Uses the glass to finish the way. And there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Walker against Nunn. Good on the shot. And you see the speed on display. Walker using it well whenever he gets into traffic. Now let's go to the sideline to catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Oldham. I was able to catch up with Eric Spolster a few minutes ago. We talked about which player was the biggest challenge tonight, and he quickly noted it was Jason Tatum. Coach said any clean look from outside and he'll drop it in. In range, three, it doesn't matter. Getting a hand in his face is a must-do for us. Tatum can't be allowed to slip away this time. Guys? Thank you, David. The unbelievable effort. Thompson, a dedicated warrior on the offensive glass. Outside Butler, and they double up up. Now wide open. Six the three-pointer. Nunn's got seven. Here's Walker. Oh, 
but free. It's hauled in by the Heat. And here comes Ariza, leading the fast break. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. A powerful athlete who's still developing his skills. Otto Bio has become a threat at the offensive end. The Heat shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. One falls for it. And you talk about guys who play with that chip on their shoulder. Bam Adebayo has not forgotten he was cut from the U.S. national team in 2019. And Greg, in fact, he told those close to him, they will pay a little extra motivation. Fuel for the fire. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Man, you know, Bam Adebayo knows his role, doesn't play outside of himself, and he's a quality teammate, too. Now, here's Brown. And it's out of bounds. Well, they say it was last changes. Robert Williams, he's checked in for Thompson. And Fournier subbed in for Swart. Then for the Heat, Bielitsa, who checks in for a reason. And Hero subbed in for Robinson. A pass to Butler. Here's Bielitsa. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Tatum dishes to Fournier. Passes it to Williams. Outside, Walker. Over done. Austin again missing. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. Offensive rebound. Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. The confidence continuing to grow off the board. Adebayo takes it right back up. Walker surveying the floor. Continue to say no in terms of falling. Here's Hero. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Adebayo. Good on the bucket. Got the Heat lead. I got a chance to play with Gary for a year and have known him. We, we, we used to go at it in high school. And it's really about his personality. This is a guy that constant chatter, practice on the court. That's what fed his confidence. Charles Oakley, another guy. He would run through a wall you to win a game and it's Scotty Pippen later in my career just a winner and somebody who I competed against for many years but didn't have the opportunity to play with up close uh, I got a greater appreciation for his skill set. No good from Trogic. So it's trail by 13. Here's Ojale. Pritchard passes to Parker. The eight footer and he nails the jumper. Here's Iguodala. That's the hero. Back to Iguodala. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Evan Fournier. And some controversy last season. Andre Iguodala traded to the Grizzlies. We know he didn't report break. He stayed in the Bay Area until a trade could be worked out to Miami. I call that a power move, Kevin. No doubt. I Iguodala, a respected vet, wanted to play for a contender. And he got an extra year and $15 million in the deal. And he knocks down the first one. The charity stripe is far from the strongest part of Iggy's game, but he will hit him in crunch time. <laughs> and that's good as he hits both of the shots. Celtics trail by 13. Outside 48. And it's Miami the other way. Now, here's Bielitz. He started closely. And good that time. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Here's Pritchard. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Yes, that goes in. And that kick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Looks it up for Adebayo. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Wonderful play with that long wingspan and huge hands. Otto Bio catches and finishes with ease. 
here's Parker. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Allowed any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Dragic with it. Pass to Bialica. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Gets them both. Yeah, and early on doing a really nice job at the free throw line. Celtics trail by 15. Richard passes to Williams. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. He gets both from the strike. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. Now Trogic. And the shot goes in. The Heat lead by 15. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. The shot by Ojale, no good. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. It's out of bounds. They able to retain possession here. And it's the Heat with the ball. 15 point game. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and, and go the second. So he makes them both. And trailing here in the early going. Too many careless fouls. And they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. Fournier, this is just a Williams. Here's Struce. 122 left in the first. Outside Dragic. This is his second shot in four attempts from the field. Celtics trail by 17. To the paint, here's Fournier. A great one-two punch, beautiful pass, and nasty jam. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. Here's the pass to Pritchard. Up and in on the way. Pritchard's got six points. Unselfish, moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. 36 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Passes it to Iguodala. Now, here's a cue. The Heat moving the ball around. Off the mark there with a three-point shot. And a pass break now for the Celtics. Parker's shot is off. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Here's Fournier. It's deflected. And so it's Miami, 13 points up at the end of the period. Their defense has been terrific in this game.